Hey, hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And in this one, I'm going to show you some of the ways uh, we can do some application troubleshooting. And that's quite an interesting uh, subject to cover. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about that. So the first thing I would do is to go into my uh, console Right, and now that I'm at my console, I can use a script. It's it's a tool uh, called Q App Manager, right? And we can go to search and do Q Radar Q App Manager, and we're going to see an article about it here. So let's find the command we need to use. This one, let's copy it and type it in our console and see what we get. So what we get is basically a list of all of the applications we have installed, whether they are running or not, how much memory they require, and their ID, right? So if, for example, I know I have some sort of an issue with my uh, use case manager, I know that my ID is 1101, right? And we're going to see uh, what to do with that in just a few seconds. But I also want to show you that you can uh, stop your applications by typing uh, 24. And then you would select your authorized uh, service token with admin uh, privileges. So in my case, it's one. Right. And then I can type in the ID that I want to stop, right? So it tells me choose app instance ID or enter zero to select all. So I can either stop one application, I can stop all of them. And then I can also uh, st start uh, applications that were stopped. I can delete and I can do various other administrative actions. So it really depends on what kind of uh, error you are experiencing with your application and which one is it but generally um, restarting an application using this method would solve quite a bit of uh, problems however let me quit from this menu and now i'm going to show you a bit more in depth uh, how to connect to the docker container that's running the application itself and how to extract uh, files and logs from uh, that container. So we know that, for example, like we've seen, our use case manager is 1101, right? So we would go ahead and type in the following command, right? OPT curator support recon connect. And then we're going to do to type in the ID of the application. So in our case, it's use case manager. So let's go ahead and connect to it. And as you can see, we have a shell uh, opened. It means that we're connected to the Docker instance that's running the application. And now, for example, we can do ls to see all of the files that the application is running. So let's go to opt. App root store. And in here we can see that we have a folder called log. So let's go to that one. And in here we can see that we have all of the uh, application logs uh, that are related to use case managers. So, for example, uh, the date today is uh, 31. So let's see what kind of logs we get for that. Uh, let's do app 2023031.log. And in here, you can see all of the information about use case manager for today. So if you had an error, for example, that you couldn't solve by restarting, I would recommend to go to the application logs like we've just done and read them in order to see if you can extract any useful information to include uh, in the support ticket that you're going to send IBM. And this works for uh, all of the applications, right? 
not only for use case manager. Um, it doesn't matter which application you're troubleshooting, you can go to its Docker instance and view the logs like we've just seen. Uh, the name of the logs might be a bit different, but uh, the, the folder uh, is almost uh, same 100% of the time. So let's say, for example, we want to copy some of the logs from this folder to our um, root deployment in order to send the files to someone. So how can we do that, right? So we have to type in the following command, docker cp, which uh, stands for copy, and then the container ID and, and the path, right? So how do we get the container ID? So let me open a new session here. And let's go ahead and type the word docker ps. And we can see that we get a list of container IDs here. And the way we know which one to look for is because we know that the ID of our uh, use case manager is 1101, which is this one. So we know that the container ID we need is this one, right? So let's go ahead and copy it. Go back to our uh, line here. And now we're going to paste in the container ID. I'm going to do a colon and then the path of the file. So in my case, I'm, I want to copy uh, app31.log. Uh, and I want to copy that to my destination, which is root. Right. This is the, uh, the console. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Not found. Oh, my bad. We need to actually type that uh, outside of the of the console. So let's go ahead and do that again. Uh, instance, then opt app root store log, and then app uh, 2023.03. 31.log. Let's copy that to root. And as you can see, if I refresh my uh, folder, I see that I have the log file in my root folder. Now I can send it to people. And you can also uh, bring files from your console to the Docker instance, but that almost never happens. Um, but just be aware that you can do that. So We've seen how we can do some basic app troubleshooting and how we can connect to the Docker instance of the application, how to stop and start the applications from the console, and how to send files between the console and the uh, Docker instances. And so far, this has been it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.